Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, February 6th. It's the fifth week after the Epiphany and week five in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verse 1 to 39. And John, chapter 7, verse 53, to chapter 8, verse 11. Now join me in singing the fourth verse of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we Almighty Maker, to your name. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, hear my law, O my people. Listen to the words of my mouth. Alleluia. Psalm 78. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah! Hear my law, O my people. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will tell you a parable. I will tell you hidden stories of old. Stories we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from our children. We will tell the generations to come the praises of our God, of God's strength, and the wonderful works that God has done. <clears throat> For God established a decree in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and appointed a law in Israel, and commanded our ancestors to make them known to their children, that the generations to come might know them and declare them to their own children, that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep God's commandments, and might not be as their ancestors a rebellious and stubborn generation, a generation whose hearts went astray and whose spirit was not steadfast in God. The children of Ephraim turned back in the day of battle. They broke the covenant of God and refused to walk in God's law. <clears throat> they forgot God's works and the wonders they had seen. Marvelous things God did in the sight of their ancestors in the land of Egypt in the field of Zoan. God divided the sea, and they passed through, and the water stood in a heap, guiding them by day with the cloud, and at night with the fire. And God split the rock in the wilderness and gave them water out of the great depths. God brought streams out of the rock and caused the water to run down like rivers. And yet they sinned more and more, provoking the Most High in the wilderness, and they tempted God in their hearts by asking for meat that they craved. They even spoke against God. They said, Can God set a table in the wilderness? Look, God struck the rock and waters gushed, and the streams overflowed. But can God give bread also? Can God provide meat for the people? You heard this and were angry, and so a fire was kindled against Jacob, and your anger rose against Israel, because they had no faith in you no trust in your salvation, though you had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven. And it rained down manna on them to eat and had given them the bread of heaven. Mere mortals ate the bread of angels. You sent them meat in abundance and caused an east wind to blow in the heaven and brought in the south wind. And flesh rained down on them like dust and feathered fowl like the sand of the sea. And you let it fall in the midst of their camp all around their tents. And so they ate and were filled, for you gave them their desires. But that did not stop their lust. And while the meat was still in their mouths, your wrath, O God, came upon them and slew the fattest and smote the chosen of Israel. And for all of this they sinned still and did not believe in your wondrous works. So their days were ended in a breath and their years in sudden ruin. Whenever you slew them, they would seek you and repent. 
they returned and earnestly re inquired after you. And they remembered that you were their rock and their redeemer, but their words were mere flattery, and they lied with their tongues. For their hearts were not right, nor were they steadfast in your covenant. But you, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Many a time you turned away your anger and did not stir up your wrath, for you remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes away and comes not again. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear my law, O my people. Listen to the words of my mouth. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 7, beginning at verse 53. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. And Jesus bent down, and he wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and he said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first. To throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders, and Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. He straightened up and he said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? And she said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, have compassion on us and forget that we defied you. Forgive us our sins and grant us your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.